I'm Aliana Lim and I'm a true daughter of Malaysia. I consider myself quite the idealist, so my most pressing issue is Malaysia's status as a global destination for garbage and how this profoundly harms the citizens of today and of my generation. Even at 14, I'm aware of the issues violating the rights of my people our right to the highest attainable standard of health as dictated by the constitution of the World Health Organization is currently lacking in Malaysia. Compared to our neighbor, progressive Singapore, the air and environmental quality in Malaysia has declined vastly in recent months, something that the media has already connected to the rapid buildup of illegally imported plastic waste. For 25 years, China had been buying 45% of the world's recyclable plastic waste. In late 2017, however, it notified the World Trade Organization of its ban on most plastic imports. Wealthier countries like the US sell their plastic scrap to Asia because it's cheaper to export than to locally process. Without China, these countries needed somewhere else to redirect their waste. Thus, by May 2019, almost 50% of the USA's and most of the world's unrecyclable plastic garbage had been imported to Malaysia. The waste stacked up in Port Klang and swamped residential areas like Jinjara and my state, Salem. Further exacerbating the problem, illegal factories disposed of unrecyclable plastic by burning it. The noxious chemicals released seeped into Malaysia's water supply and the common atmosphere, causing respiratory issues like asthma. There are currently 2 million Malaysians suffering from it, including my elderly grandmother who lives in a nursing home in Kuala Lumpur and many of my friends in public school. The situation culminated in Malaysia taking a stand for itself, sending back 3,000 metric tons of garbage to its countries of origin, such as Britain, France, and Australia. As a young citizen, I am trying to do my part. A campaign in my Selangor neighborhood against single-use plastic was recently launched, highlighting sea pollution and our unnecessary reliance on products like styrofoam containers and single-use bags. I participated in this through a speech competition theme, Going Green. Also of great importance to me, is increasing local awareness and thereby accountability. In my country, of the 82% of people who read the news, many are youth like myself who care deeply about the recent plastic dumping issue and the environment we will inherit. So I wrote an opinion piece for Malaysia's English language newspaper on youth representation in government. This is because I believe in our voice and our potential to create positive reforms counteracting pollution and climate change. The issue of excessive plastic dumping in Malaysia is affecting the progress of my beautiful nation. I may be young, but I am old enough to make a change for the better. And I firmly believe that with greater involvement of youth, heightened plastic waste management, and a true spirit of global citizenship, we can facilitate a more sustainable future. Thank you.